Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to my latest haul video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you one half of a lot that I picked up from the auction house. This lot cost me £20 plus commission in total. The other box, I actually realised the other part of the lot is still at my lockup, which I'm a bit frustrated about because I can't show you the entire lot. But there's some decent items in here. And there's some blend butter items as well. So I thought I would show you this lot and then hopefully when I get to my lockup next time, I can find the other box of stuff and I can show you that half as well. Although I don't think there's going to be too much uh, left in the actual lot. I think the majority of the items in the lot are actually here with me now. So that's at least something anyway. But if I do find those other bits, I will show you and I'll be sure to tell you that they were a part of this lot. Anyway, with that all being said, let's get on with the whole video. Let's get seeing what items I have picked up. Hi guys, so this is the first item here. It's a nice little butter dish in a blue domino pattern. That's what the company has called this pattern. Now I'm gonna put it down and show you the two parts individually so that then I don't drop uh, the cover part of it or anything like that if I'm handling both of the parts at the same time. Because you know what I'm like, I'd probably do that. So we'll have a look at the two parts individually. You can see that obviously it is sort of a very, it has, has a good look of sort of a domino pattern. You can see obviously this here, this section here very much looks like a domino. So the name very much fits it. And you can see we've got sort of the dominoes on top here as well. The little spots of the dominoes on top there. Quite cool. Nice looking item, but I actually thought that it would be worth a lot less than it is. Well, a fair bit less than it actually is. Now, I'll show you the little uh, tray here. So that's the tray again. We've got the little spots around the outside there. And also, I'll just quickly show you the uh, name there. So TG Green Co. Limited Blue, Diamond, uh, Blue Domino England. So quite a nice looking item and uh, I actually think that maybe this is worth more than I thought it was because something like this might be in fashion at the moment. I'm not sure whether it is or not but it seems like a style that could be in fashion at the moment. Um, I know that kind of, I don't know whether comparing this to sort of that Calf Kidston, Kidston style would be a fair comparison or not but it might have a little bit of that look to it, and I know that that's quite popular. It has been for a few years now, so I don't know, but it's actually worth about £20 plus postage. One went on auction for 20 quid plus postage uh, quite recently, and there aren't actually any on eBay that I saw. So what I'm going to do is probably go for £25 plus post on Buy It Now. So I'm quite happy with that and I'm pretty sure that I can achieve that in quite a good time frame, quite a quick time frame. So yeah, really, really happy with that one. So next we've got this uh, rather large bowl here um, and you can probably see that the light is bouncing off the centre of it a little bit. That's actually because this bowl's got a sort of iridescent effect to it or an iridescent finish to it. And uh, obviously we can see that around the edges there, it's got a sort of a leaf design pattern, obviously the, the outer rim. I uh, don't know how well you're going to see that there, but it is actually sort of a leaf design around the outer rim. I did a little bit of research and it seems to me um, that that pattern in the middle is of Venice, which is quite nice. I think it's quite a nice bowl um, and obviously you can see it pride of place there. Um, so obviously if we tip it around that way, you can sort of see the style of the bowl. Again, we've got around this bottom part, I'm probably covering it up too much there, but around this bottom part we've got um, the sort of leaf design as well. See if I can get that any closer, but I don't know whether it's going to focus or not. Don't mean it's going to focus, but this part round here, again, we've got that sort of leaf design. And we've got sort of a ripple effect as well going round the bowl, both obviously um, on the out outside of it here. And then on the inside, again, we've got its ripple effect. Now, in glassware, this is kind of called like styrations. I don't know whether that word would apply here in ceramics. Um, I don't know whether it actually transitions into ceramics or whether it's just used to describe glassware. But if it isn't used to describe ceramics, it's certainly sort of, you could call it a ripple effect or something like that. Now, the makers of this bowl, hopefully this will focus in. Oh, please focus in. I've been having trouble with my camera where it's not focusing very much. But you might be able just to make it out there. Maybe you, you might want to pause the video. It is actually mailing. So M-A-L-I-N-G. Quite a uh, well-known maker there. Um, and then we've got the pattern number or the design number underneath. Again, I never remember which one it is. But pattern number, design number, they're not really too different anyway. 
Um, so yeah, essentially quite a nice bowl, and I thought that this was going to be worth every bit of sort of 20, 25 quid, but it's not, unfortunately. I thought it would be worth that, but unfortunately it isn't worth that. Um, it's only worth about £10 really. Now, I put £10 to £15 plus post there because I'm going to try and shoot for £15. I'm not in a rush to sell it, so obviously, you know, I just sort of, whenever it sells, it sells kind of thing. So next, I'm going to blast through a few lower value stuff that I found in the job lot. So this is like an incense burner, a brass one, probably sort of far eastern. Um, and it, you know, it's pretty standard. It's nothing like really amazing. Um, you can see it's quite a small item, really. It's not anything really big or any, anything like that. But it's probably going to be, you know, I'm going to be lucky to get about a tenner out of it, really. Um, I've had these before in various different styles. You can get larger ones. You can get more ornate ones. You can get ones with, like, sort of inscribed designs and all that on. Loads of different designs and loads of different styles of these. But as I say, quite a basic one, pretty standard, nothing too amazing. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to get a tenner out of that if I can. So that's that one there. So next we've got two little ceramic uh, Delphs Blue um, houses. They're quite nice. These, I'll show you them one at a time here. You can see that one there, which is quite nice. Um, and obviously that's the side of it. And then we've got, uh, where's that on there? There. So we've got... Um, KLM. Now, I don't know whether these were done for advertising purposes or not, but I think I did see something on uh, one of the listings that I was looking at on eBay for something to do with advertising purposes with that KLM. But I'm not 100% sure. You can see, maybe you can see, I don't know whether this is going to focus or not. Oh, come on. Why, why is my camera not focusing? I really don't know. But anyway, it says Royal Delft Blue Holland. And then we've got the other one, Delft's Holland. You can probably see that one fairly clearly anyway without it focusing at Delft's Holland. So, yeah, quite nice little houses there. Um, again, I, I kind of knew on these they're probably not going to be worth loads. Um, but if you get a... I did see that if you get a large job lot of these, they're certainly worth doing because 36 of them went for £122 on auction so they're certainly worth doing if you if you can get a nice little lot of these uh, maybe you know there's 20 or 30 of them in a lot of the auction you know you pick them up 20 30 pound plus commission or whatever you would probably flip them into a hundred pound or more so yeah if you get a large job lot of these again maybe you see them at a car boot or something um you know you get a large job lot they're worth doing but two on their own like this probably only a tenner again nothing amazing but they're still quite nice little items and obviously certain people will really, really, really like these and will really uh, love to collect them. So yeah, as you can see, those are those. So again, just another couple of standard items that I'll go through very quickly. Uh, we've got a kind of uh, black... I, I can never sort of um, understand what these are. But obviously it's a posy vase, but I don't know what this sort of style is called. I think it's just sort of um, a reproduction of kind of like an old sort of Greek... Um, an old sort of Greek vase or something, but they do generally do these kind of things in uh, 24k gold, it says it on there, but they're not really worth that much, I mean if you get like a really big piece of this you might get 25 quid or something for it, but they're generally not worth that much uh, on the whole these, again it's not focusing in, it did focus in a second ago didn't it, but yeah, it's not focused in now. But it says, handmade in Greece, 24k gold, Lucas. I'm, sh I'm assuming Lucas is the maker or something. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's not going to be anything special. Probably going to be looking uh, to try and squeeze a tenner out of that if I can. It might even be just less than a tenner, this one, actually. Um, but yeah, sometimes these are okay. You can also get uh, reproductions of Corinthian, kind of. Uh, very, very similar to these, but they're actually more of like a stoneware, and they're not obviously glazed or anything like this, they're not black or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you, you know, they're okay, but they're nothing really, really special, but there probably will be a few of these, as I say, the larger ones that are worth a little bit more money, so yeah, that's that one. And then we've got this little piece of Selvac here, the green screen doesn't like it because it's actually green at the bottom. Um, but yeah, nothing amazing, this one. Um, I'm probably looking at maybe less than a tenner on this. I don't know. Maybe I could maybe I could wait and try and bundle it up with some other Silvac or something if I can get anything 
suitable to bundle it up with but yeah it doesn't seem to be worth a lot of money so i might wait on that one try and bundle it up with something else and then obviously i can get a bit more money out of it rather than listing it for you know five six seven quid plus postage so yeah probably you know double double thinking about double thinking uh rethinking that one i think i might actually uh wait on that and then bundle it up so yeah that's that one anyway something that is a little bit weird oh, green screen doesn't like this one as well but this here, you can probably see, is a sort of a green pepper. And this little boy or this baby is sleeping on this green pepper. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a weird item, just obviously a, a carved wooden item there. Um, I don't even know on value of this, but I think I'll just whack it on for £10 plus postage because I can't really see it being worth any more than that anyway. But it's a bit of a weird, weird item, sort of weird and wonderful item there. But uh, yeah. You you find all sorts in these job lots, you know, these things um, are rife in these job lots. You get very odd, weird things in there. But, yeah, essentially, I just put that on. At some point, it'll go, I have no doubt. But I've, I've sold some weird and wonderful stuff in the past. So, it's just about kind of waiting on these items, waiting for that right person. So, someone will have it for a 10 quid plus post. But, as I say, it might take quite a while to go. Right then, so next, we've got this sort of uh, ceramic figure here. Um, it's like a man riding a goat or something like that. Now, it does seem, you're probably not going to see this because it's kind of white on white. So even if it does focus in, you're probably not going to get a good picture of that. But it looks like something there is broken off. I don't know what it's meant to be. But something looks like it's broken off. I don't know how well that's going to focus in or anything. No, it probably won't. But it just seems like it's very, very small. Something very, very small has broken off there, which is a shame. But there is a maker's mark to it. It looks like quite an old mark. Um, it's in there. Again, getting this camera to focus is going to be a challenge, but we'll see if it does it at all. But anyway, you can kind of see that mark in there. It looks like quite an old mark to me. It's got like a little crown and then it's got I can't even read it, even if it focused in, I don't think people would be able to read it anyway, but it's a crown, and then it's got like a, a few little sort of symbols there as well, but I can't read the numbers, there's some numbers on it, and I haven't a clue what those numbers are, but um, essentially it looks like quite an old piece, it could, be, it could be something that's worth a little bit of money, maybe 20, 25 quid, something like that, but I don't know because I've really got to do some more research on this, I can't find it anywhere at the moment, so I do need to... As I say, do a bit more research. I might post it in one of the antique groups or something like that. Post that mark in there, see if anyone can help me with it. Um, obviously, you guys probably won't have been able to see the mark very well. Um, so, yeah, I might do that, get a little bit of help with it because I really don't know. But, yeah, quite a cool, cool, funky item. But, as I say, I'm just really not sure on that. I need to do some more research on it. But it'll be interesting to find out. Um, if it does have any value and if there's a name associated to, to the piece and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, there's that one. Quite interesting. Might be worth some good money. Might be worth not a lot, but, you know, there we go. So, in a similar vein as the other piece, this is another piece that I'm not too sure on. Um, it does seem like it's got some age to it. If I just give this a little flick, like that. You can see that it's quite a dull sound, and I think that that might associate some age to it. I don't know, I'm, it's just kind of an educated guess, but it just, it, it's got that feel. So when you feel some ceramics, if you've been touching ceramics quite a while, you can kind of feel just how it's made. You can feel like it, it's got some age to it. I don't know, I don't know whether other people, can other, do other people do that, or is it just me being weird? But I really do think this has got some age to it. I think it's probably... Uh, 1800s, late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, something like that. It's obviously a gilt plate with uh, some hand-painted birds on, and we've got like a cobalt, col co can't even say it, cobalt underglaze, which is that sort of very deep blue, uh, not an underglaze, yeah, yeah, like an underglaze actually, but it's got cobalt un under the glaze essentially, which is quite cool. Um, now, it does have a mark on, but this is the issue. I've tried looking at that mark and I don't think this is going to focus in because even if it did focus in, you wouldn't be able to see it because it's actually the same colour mark as the... You can probably just about make it out there, but as you can see, it's kind of been an impressed mark that kind of blends in with the colour of the back. So you wouldn't be able to see it anyway, but 
I don't know whether it says here, it's very, very hard for even me to see just here, right in front of me. I don't know whether it says H and C, or H and O, or M and O, or N and O, I really don't know. So I've got to get the magnifying glass on it more, and try and see that. But I think it might have a little bit of value, this. I don't think it's got great value, because I've had these kind of plates before. More, more sort of modern ones uh, of these, but I've had kind of these plates before. And they don't do amazing, amazing, but you never know this one might do. You know, there's always different variants of different plates that do well. You know, it's such a vast field that... Um, you know, you never know, you can never predict really with these things, so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do more research into that one, and I'm hoping that it's maybe 20 or 30 pound plate this, but I don't know, it could just be a 10 pound plate, but I can't see something like this being any less than a 10 pound plate, because all these different birds here have been hand painted, as I say, it's a nice gilt plate, and that underglaze is really quite nice, you know, that deep blue is really quite nice, the only thing that obviously is a little bit of an issue and you probably won't see this very well but this sort of rim here the actual uh, gilt is slowly fading but it is maybe a bit of an issue but it's not that much of an issue because a lot of these plates have that same problem and also it might be a good indicator that it does have quite a bit of age you know if that has been uh, worn away so yeah anyway that's that one oh, just turn it around again properly quite nice I really do like the design on that um, and I'll be interested to find out a little bit more about that plate. So yeah, uh, again, probably one to do a bit more research on. If I can't find anything, I will post in one of the groups uh, and see if anyone else has any information on this. So next, I wanted to give people a little bit of a warning. So obviously, um, a lot of people will know these kind of little flower baskets. Um, so essentially, um, these little flower baskets, they're done by various different companies. I think... Uh, I don't know, I think Royal Worcester did them, uh, this Royal uh, or Alderley Floral or Royal Alderley or whatever this is called, they did them. I think Royal Dalton might have done them, quite a few companies did these anyway. But the problem with these, if you're in charity shops or you're, or you're at car boots and you know maybe you see one of these and it might be like 15 pound or 20 quid or whatever some of these aren't worth hardly anything so they're not worth bothering with anyway but if you see these at car boots or charity shops and you're thinking right i might pick this up be very very careful because 90 percent of the ones of these that i have had one or two of the petals have been broke off and it essentially makes them worthless or pretty much worthless you know so um, yeah, and both of these that I got from an auction job lot, obviously I wasn't really bothered about these in the job lot, it wasn't the reason I bought the job lot, it was just kind of a little extra, but both of these that I've got are actually broken. This one has got um, a crack down, the, down one of the sides, eh? you can probably make out on the left hand side, and then one of the petals has broke to this one, I think it's one of the under petals, undersides of the petals, you're probably not going to see that very well. But they're just one of the undersides of the petals have broke off here. That's so. So it's just a warning with these. Be very careful. Make sure that when you're looking them over, if you're buying them individually from a car boot or charity shop, to make sure you're looking over every single petal because, honestly, you'll be amazed how easy it is just to uh, buy this and then you see that when you get home, a petal has broke and you think, damn, I didn't see that in the charity shop or the car boot. So, yeah, be very careful with these. Um, so I, re I really don't like selling these. I don't like picking them up. I just I just don't like them I just for a pet peeve of mine because of all the little petals But yeah, anyway, so that's what I just want to show you That's just more of a warning than anything else right so next we've got some uh, cabbage leaf plates or le Oh No, these aren't gonna show up. I I completely oh damn it. I'll, you know what I'll have to do I will have to um, do these off green screen at the end of a video that is so annoying. I completely forgot that these are completely green, so we're not going to show... Look at that. You can just see the label. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, I'll show those at the end of the video. I'll just show you some more plates now. Then I'll have to turn the green screen off and show you them in a little bit. So I apologize about that. So I've got a set of uh, six of these side plates. Now, I'll just get one up for you so I don't have to turn the entire lot round and risk some of them falling. We've got a uh, Crown Ducal, I always say Dulcan, I don't know why, but Crown Ducal Chinese garden pattern um, side plates here. Now, I don't think these are anything amazing, amazing. Um, and I've seen a couple of these on actually 
um, not necessarily just the side plates, but I've seen one one like larger plate sell for about eight pound plus postage or something like a you know a uh, proper dining plate sort of size. I think maybe like 22 centimeters or 28 centimeters, something like that. And then I've actually seen on uh, some of these side plates, I've got them on for six pound free postage. Now, obviously, I've got six here, so I did. I did put down 20, 25. I think maybe 25 is a little bit ambitious. So maybe 20 plus post for the for the six there. I'm not sure. Something like that anyway. Now it might be a waiter with these because you know it just needs someone to come along to obviously type in that search who wants these pattern, this pattern, and wants some side plates. You know they want six of them. So obviously it's going to be maybe be a bit more of a longer tail item this one. But yeah. I'd say maybe 25 is a little bit more ambitious, but certainly 20 plus post on those. So nothing amazing, amazing, but I'll just show you the um, uh, name there as well. Crown Ducal um, Chinese Garden. I think it is Ducal you pronounce it, but I always say Dulcan. I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why. There's no like Dulcan would be like D-U-L, wouldn't it? So it's, yeah, it's not that anyway, but yeah, that's those. So I will get on and show you those uh, cabbage leaf plates now with the green screen off. So we are now off the green screen and we're gonna take a look at these cabbage leaf plates. So this one here is just, I'll just quickly get that off there. So this one here is just a standard Wedgwood one, try and turn it around properly here. So yeah, just a standard Wedgwood one, this one. But if you get these in big bundles, they can be worth some really, really good money. I've seen a bundle of these go recently. Actually, I think it was six of these went for a hundred pound. Now, obviously, we've got a set of them. You can command a little bit more money because people are looking for the sets of these. You know, a set of six, set of eight, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, definitely, these can be worth some good money. Just on its own, like this, I'm just going to be uh, charging ten pound plus post. You could maybe get twelve pound plus post for something like this. So I might try twelve. But around that sort of region, so nothing amazingly special there. But as I say, if you get these in larger job lots, you can be uh, getting some good money back for them. Now this one's a little bit different. Um, this is Wedgwood again, um, but this is quite a nice style, a little bit of a different style. So I'm thinking of going. Um, don't know whether you can see that there. 15 to 20 pound plus postage on this one um, just because it's a little bit different a little bit more unique um, a little bit different than the standard design so yeah quite like that design there don't know whether this is going to focus in very well um, you might be able to catch a hint of well there we go Wedgwood the D is actually uh, lost on that little impressed design there uh, impressed mark there but um, yeah it is actually Wedgwood at the back there. So, yeah, quite nice, that one. So those are the two Wedgwood ones. And then I've actually got a larger job lot of uh, a different brand. It's actually, it just says RS on the uh, side, on the on the back of the plate. So I'm just going to put a couple of these to the side because I think it's the third one that has the better mark on it. Yeah, it is. So see if that'll capture on the webcam there. I don't know whether it will or not. I'm really not having much luck with this focus today. I'm thinking maybe I need to get a different camera or something. Um, but it literally is in like sort of a little uh, crest or something there. There's just an R and an S. So I don't know that brand at all. But it seems like even if you've got, um, you know, unbranded ones or not marks pieces or anything like that of these cabbage plates, in the larger bundles you can still command some good money. I saw one bundle of... I think it was six of them, um, and I think that went for about, th yeah, it was 30 quid. So there were six of them that weren't marked or anything like that, weren't necessarily Wedgwood or anything, uh, and they went for 30 quid. So I'm thinking I've got eight here, and by that logic, oh, I'll just show you them here. I've got eight there in a little pile, as you can see. Um, so by that logic, I kind of thought to myself, well, I'll whack these down at 40 to 50 and sort of go from there. But... Now I was thinking to myself, you know, I've been thinking to myself through this whole video, I might be shooting myself in the foot going 40 to 50. I think maybe I could push a little bit more, maybe 60 or 70 on these, since there is eight of these plates. But I don't know, maybe, maybe I should, maybe I could start at 60 or 70 and then work my way down a little bit, maybe end up selling for 50 quid or something. But they're quite nice. I was really, really happy to find them in the job lot. I really like selling these Wedgwood um you know, sort of cabbage leaf plates or just the cabbage leaf plates in general. I really do like them. I know, like, a lot of people probably wouldn't like them that much. But, yeah, I, they, 
for whatever reason, I like them. They're kind of my sort of taste. So, yeah, quite happy with them. Nice to have got them. So, yeah, that is everything from this little haul video. I know it was sort of a quick... Well, I say a quick one. I know it wasn't like... It was probably quite a long one, actually, knowing me ramble. But um, I know it wasn't like loads of stuff. But this was just kind of one box of stuff, you know. So, I'm trying to do it in sort of you know, one box of stuff at a time rather than doing like three or four boxes in one go because I really want to actually um, share the knowledge that I've got on these and maybe help some people out with the, with the little bit of knowledge that I've got on some of these pieces and obviously you guys can help me out if you think that some of the knowledge I've given is wrong or there's something on one of the pieces that you think uh, you know, I might have missed out about maybe there's you know a certain mark on on a certain piece that uh, makes it more valuable or something, and I've completely missed that. Obviously, someone could comment down below and then help me out with that. So it's kind of a nice sort of, sort of symbiotic relationship. So yeah. Anyway, so I'll leave it there for that one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. Please do subscribe for more content to come, and I will see you very soon.